Hello everyone and welcome to the virtual college exploration for all Illinois students. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we're really excited to have you here. If you notice you do not have your camera or microphones on today because this is a webinar format so don't panic if you're looking for those buttons. Um, because this is a webinar though we do ask that you use the Q&A function which is in the same place that you would normally use the chat on a Zoom. Um, the presenters today will go ahead and use the Q&A function to review your questions throughout the presentation. Um, and if you like what you see today, I would encourage you to sign up for more sessions at IACAC.org and the recording for this session, if you'd like to go back and see it again, will be available at the same website, IACAC.org. But without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to Gabby, who's going to be presenting from Blackhawk College today. All right, hello everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Gabriella Hurtado and I'm the recruiting manager at Blackhawk College's Quad Cities campus. Make sure that my computer's still moving. There you go. I'm sorry that I'm unable to show my video today, having some technical difficulties. Um, but today I'd like to talk to you a little bit more about our Quad Cities campus and um, really what the, the idea of starting out at the community college means. There's a quick picture of me. Um, I'm a big dog lover, so those are my two babies. And then um, I've got my contact information. Um, as we've been living in this virtual world, I do also have a cell phone number. So if you'd like to text me, you can um, text that cell phone number during uh, Monday through Friday work hours and I will happily respond to your questions. And let's go ahead and just step into this virtual world now. And so as we start thinking about um, life after high school and what that's going to look like for you, um, an option may be the community college route. And that is what Blackhawk College is. We are a two-year community college, meaning that most of our students are typically with us for about two years, and then they may either move on into the workforce or they may also look at the transfer route, which is attending a four-year college after they've attended um, a community college like Blackhawk. And so, um, what makes a student go the community college route as opposed to entering directly into the four year? Well, that varies for everyone. Um, affordability is certainly in our name and we'll talk a little bit more about tuition later on in the presentation. Um, but as a community college, I do wanna point out a few important things to note. One, we practice something called open enrollment. Open enrollment means that we accept all students that apply to Blackhawk College. Um, while we may look at your ACT and your SAT scores and maybe even your GPA that you had in high school, um, that is not the only factor that we, that we use in terms of um, whether or not we're going to accept your college application. So again, all students are accepted. Um, we'll use those placement scores to determine whether or not you may need some developmental classes before you go into some high level courses. Um, but that's a really important thing to keep in mind. Um, that's a question that I get quite a bit is, you know, what are your admissions criteria? And so for us, just submitting that application, typically within about 24 to 48 hours, you'll receive your acceptance letter. Now, Blackhawk College um, does have two campuses. The Quad Cities campus is located in Moline, Illinois. We sit right along the Mississippi uh, River. And then we also have our East Campus location in Galva, Illinois, which is just about 45 minutes away from the Quad Cities area. And they focus more on agriculture, equine, livestock judging. Um, and so if entering into the world of agriculture is something that you're really considering, um, you may want to you may want to check out our East Campus and I can answer just some questions about it, but um, in order to get the full experience, you would want to talk to their recruiter. Um, her name is Samantha Rux. As a community college, we also offer flexible learning options. So we do offer daytime classes. We have evening courses and of course we have a mix of hybrid and online. Um, this year we introduced an online AA degree, which is a two year associates degree for students um, that can be done completely online. Um, right now in this current pandemic situation that we're all living, um, we have very limited um, in-person classes. Um, our spring schedule is available now and it looks like we're, we're kind of staying with that hybrid model. So there is an opportunity for in-person um, as well as online. And um, the final reason that a lot of students may look at the community college route um, is really that opportunity to explore. And we're gonna dig deeper into what the different programs are that we offer um, at both of our campuses here in a second. But ideally our, um, excuse me one second, our programs are really split into two categories. You're either looking at our career programs, which are short-term certifications and two-year degrees, or you might also be looking at our transfer options. And so we like to tell students that you can really start here and go anywhere, um, really regardless of what your career pathway is or your end goal, uh, we can certainly help you achieve that. 
And so as I mentioned, we practice open enrollment. So we do have students from all different backgrounds, whether it's been a few years since they've been out or if they're like yourselves and they're just getting ready to graduate high school and looking at starting their freshman year. So we do offer a lot of different student support services um, because we really wanna make sure that you're successful. Your success in college is certainly our success and we wanna make sure that you have all of the tools um, to make sure that you're taking the right classes, studying the things that you want to, but most importantly afterwards, if your end goal is to earn a, earn a look for a, maybe a resume or maybe you're looking at internships, whatever it is, we really wanna be there to support you. And so through our Student Success Center, we have a program called TRIO. TRIO is intended for students that are wanting to transfer. Um, there are some qualifiers and so um, they offer a little bit more holistic advising. Um, they take their students to different four-year colleges that they're thinking about attending um, to really give you a little bit more hands-on assistance and support um, if you are considering transferring to a four-year school after Blackhawk. On the flip side of that, we have a Perkins program. Uh, Perkins uh, pro program is really intended for students in career-related programs. So those may be areas like welding or maybe a technical area. Um, and then they can offer laptop loans and textbook rentals throughout the year. Um, they can also offer um, additional support when it comes to advising and so really two important resources on our campus. Of course, we do offer tutoring. Um, we encourage students to take advantage of tutoring throughout the year, not necessarily if you're um, in a class that you're only struggling with or you're almost nearing that D or F. Um, we encourage you to take advantage of it all year long so that way you continue. Um, but then also you may, you may meet some individuals down in our Student Success Center. Right now we are offering um, in person and we also have online tutoring available. We have career services. Um, career services are really um, geared at students that are maybe looking for jobs, whether it's on campus, you might be looking for um, jobs in the community, you may need help writing um, resumes or even putting together um, what a resume actually looks like. Um, and right now in high school, I know that there's a lot of um, push for trying to figure out what is it that you wanna do. And so we do have some really fun job search tools um, if you're really trying to figure out what does a business major look like or what kind of areas or what kinds of jobs are open for me if I want to study psychology or nursing. Um, and so our Career Services Center is a really, really useful tool, um, not only for students, but a lot of their services are available to the entire community. So you can just go right to our website um, and check out one of those job searches. We also um, encourage students to get involved on our campus. We have quite a few different student clubs and organizations uh, throughout the year um, that put on different events. Um, we do a lot of volunteer work, a lot of leadership opportunities. Um, so even though we are a community college, which I know sometimes students assume you're gonna go to classes and you're gonna either go home or you're gonna go to work, we do also offer that opportunity for you to get involved um, because we know that the more involved you are, the more successful you're going to be. If you're a student that has um, any type of documented disability, um, our disability services um, ser services office can certainly help you. Um, at the college level, it really is your responsibility to disclose um, if you do have a documented disability. Um, you're really fortunate in high school, you have your parents, you have your high school guidance counselors, you also have your teachers. Um, however, at the college level, we don't know you. And so um, it really is important that if you have an IEP or a 504 plan, um, that you reach out uh, for our services. We can uh, provide reasonable accommodations, which can be everything from note takers, additional testing time. Uh, we also have private testing rooms. So, you know, if you have test anxiety, um, access to lecture materials, and really just being that extra level of support for you. And so if you wanna take advantage of our disability services, we typically encourage students to reach out to Rachel Weeks, who is our disability services coordinator um, early on. So that way we can, um, if the, as you're nearing the end of your senior year, if there are any final IEP meetings that we can attend um, or any of that paperwork that we can obtain from your high schools, we can start that process early and make sure that those resources are in place before you even start. We do offer athletics. So if playing a sport at the college level is something you are considering, we are an NJCAA division school and we offer men's basketball, baseball, and golf. And we also have women's basketball, volleyball, and softball. Now this year we actually um, will be launching our men's and women's soccer program for the fall of 2021. And so if that is something that you are um, interested in, I encourage you to go to our website under the athletic page um, and you can submit an online athletic recruitment form. So that way that ensures that your information goes directly to our new uh, soccer team coaches and they can begin to reach out to you. And we do have athletic scholarships available as well. Now, switching gears just a little bit, I talked earlier that affordability is certainly in our name as a community college. And so this is kind of gives you a quick breakdown of what it looks like 
um, for a full-time student that's planning on attending Black Hawk College. Um, on average, our tuition is around 5,000. I like to round up, so you see that $4,470. Um, I round that up to about 5,000 because there are additional fees, um, and then our books and supplies are not carried into that, that amount. And so just to give you a quick example of how we determine tuition, it really is based on credit hours. Um, our online classes, for example, are 149 per credit hour, and that is also our in-district rate. Now, if you're not from the Quad Cities area, um, or you're not within our college district, that tuition rate may be slightly higher if you are taking in-person classes, but as of right now, our online courses are 149 per credit hour. A student that enrolls in 12 credit hours, so each class in college is typically worth about three to four credits. And so at the college level, you're not going to be taking six or seven classes like you're used to in high school. The norm is about three to five classes. And so here on our campus, a full-time student is 12 credit hours. That's about four classes that they're taking. And so we can determine based on one semester that tuition is looking at $1,778. Again, that does not include books and fees. And so you can see where again, where I like to round up. Um, but in comparison to some of the different other schools you may be looking at, whether you're looking at four-year public colleges, um, you might also be looking at some of the for-profit schools, and you might also be looking at private um, institutions. Um, that cost of tuition can certainly go up. So we are certainly an affordable option, and we do offer payment plans uh, for families. Now, with the cost of college, you'll hear a lot of different uh, colleges across the nation talking about college application month now that we are in October. Um, what that means also is that financial aid opens. And so we encourage our students um, to apply for the FAFSA, which is the free application for federal student aid. Um, if you're a senior right now, this application is available to you. And it really helps uh, the, a college determine whether or not you qualify for any state or federal assistance. And so that is something that you can be doing now. And then typically in the spring, we will uh, send out what's called an award letter in Students My Blackhawk account, which is our student portal for students that have already applied. And from there, you'll know whether or not you're applying, you uh, qualified for any uh, federal or state assistance and what that looks like. And then you can make a determination if you're going to need additional loans um, or things like that. So we don't package everything together like a lot of other colleges do, um, but that FAFSA application is very important. Um, even if you're not sure if your family is going to qualify for financial aid, a lot of scholarships require you to have a, um, a FAFSA on file, and we are, one of, we are one of those schools. So through our Quad Cities Foundation, as well as our East Campus Foundation for our uh, Galva campus, we do require students to have a completed FAFSA. Our scholarship application will open up March through May of next year. And so again, seniors, March through May is a really busy time. There's a lot of things going on, but it is that very short window that you can apply for scholarships at Blackhawk College. And we have scholarships available based on merit. So how well did you do in high school? Um, what types of classes did you take? Things like that. We also have them based on financial need, which is why we require the FAFSA. And then also based on program of interest. So what is your major? Let's say you're a nursing student. I know, for example, that we have specific scholarships available for nursing students. And so I always encourage students of all backgrounds and ages to apply for scholarships because you never know um, if you never put your name in the hat whether or not you're going to be selected. So it is very important um, March through May that you do submit an application. If I have anybody on the call that is um, living within our district, uh, we also offer the Presidential Scholars Award, which is a two-year tuition uh, waiver for students planning on attending Blackhawk. Um, and that's awarded to students that are graduating at the top 10% of their class. And again, that specific scholarship is available to students that live in um, our community college district. And so if you're not sure about that, you can always reach out to me and I'd be happy to answer that for you. Now, changing gears again, we're gonna actually start taking a dive into the different programs. I mentioned earlier that Blackhawk College offers transfer and career programs. And so whether you're wanting to go into the workforce or go on to a four-year school, we can certainly help you. The nice thing about Blackhawk is that I would say just over about 50% of our students are wanting to transfer out, meaning their goal is to go on to a four-year public or private institution after Blackhawk. So we're gonna actually talk a little bit about our transfer program first. And for those of you students that are undecided, I'm here to tell you it is perfectly fine to be undecided. Um, that's the benefit of attending a community college is we can uh, give you a really great opportunity to explore the different options, maybe take some classes that you didn't, didn't know or didn't have an opportunity to take while you were in high school. So we also know that a lot of students may change their major within their first two years of college. 
Um, but you might also be in between a few different majors. You might be looking at business and maybe you're really interested in psychology, but um, you know, you're not really too sure. And so again, we certainly can give you that extra little bit of support in helping you figure out what it is that you want to do, um, but most importantly, giving you the opportunity to explore some different options. And so within our transfer uh, program, which we're going to talk about first, we have um, over 50 different transfer degree pathways. And so this is just a quick list of the different major areas that you can study at Blackhawk. Um, now we only offer an Associate of Arts or an Associate of Science degree. And so as you start thinking about, okay, if I go to a community college, what does that mean? What does it look like when I want to transfer? Well, you really have a few different options. Um, one, students can earn an associate's degree, which again is two years, 60 credits total. You can complete what's called the IAI General Education Core, which can take anywhere between a year or two, and it really depends on the student. IAI stands for the Illinois Articulation Initiative. And what that means is that our general education classes um, have a specific code. And that just really lets you know that that code um, ensures that the class that you are taking is transferable to four-year public institutions here in the state of Illinois. Um, now, of course, because we live in such a unique uh, region, uh, we do have something called transfer guides and agreements. So if you know, you know, maybe you wanna go to a school in Iowa, you're looking at a school in Wisconsin, um, we do have agreements with uh, those schools as well. So our classes do certainly transfer. And we're going to take a little bit more of an in-depth look and see exactly what this means when you're looking at these three different options. So the Associate of Arts framework and Associate of Science framework is on the next slide, um, really are very similar to what you do every year that you've been in high school. You meet with your counselor, you try to figure out, you know, how many more English classes do I need? Do I have all my elective classes? Have I met all my math requirements? Um, did I take my bio, my, I'm sorry, my life sciences courses? And so within um, the completing the general education cor uh, courses, this is really the breakup of what it looks like. Um, I always like showing students this framework because it really shows you how you can piece together um, the different general education requirements and then um, also your elective courses to really make up for those 60 credit hours. Now, if you're going into a STEM major, so science, technology, engineering, or math, you may see a little bit of a difference here. Obviously, um, students going into a, into a STEM area, they're going to take some more science and math courses than somebody who is doing your Associate of Arts. So that really is the primary difference when you look at these two different degree plans. And then the second option that I talked about earlier was following the general education core. And so this is something that we give students that are wanting to start out. Um, and we know, yes, I wanna transfer, whether you know what you wanna study or not. Um, this is just a quick snapshot of what um, our planning guide for students that wanna transfer looks like. There you can see that communication uh, category and you have three courses under that. What that means is that no matter where you transfer to, no matter um, where you're, what, what, your, uh, what your major is, you have to take English Composition 101, 102, and you also have to take speech. If you ask anybody that you know that has a bachelor's degree, um, I guarantee you they had to take those courses. And so again, completing the general education core classes at a community college um, could take a student a year. So let's say that maybe you just wanted to save some money for a year, um, or you really wanted to try and figure out what it is that you wanted to major in. And so you might just transfer after your first year. We have some students that will transfer after two years. Um, again, we do not dictate how long you're going to be here at Blackhawk. That really is um, up to every student and is unique to everybody's situation. The third option I talked about was following what's called a transfer guide or agreement. So this is really for students who know exactly what they want to study and where they want to go. This is a quick example. Um, we um, here in the Quad Cities area, we have a lot of students that will transfer to Western Illinois Quad Cities uh, campus. And so I just brought up this quick a transfer guide because again it shows you on the first column Blackhawk College courses and what they look like and exactly how they transfer onto a school like Western Illinois University. This is actually a specific one for uh, business and accounting if I'm not mistaken. And so there you can see where it says IAI Humanities, IAI Physical Science, IAI Fine Arts. Um, again those are those general education classes that the four-year institution may not have a specific course they care that you take as long as you've taken them uh, within those different categories. And so again, just a quick snapshot for students that really do want to transfer within two years. Ideally, you probably want to take about 15 to 16 credit hours every semester. At the community college level, it's really nice because we also offer summer courses and we have a holiday a mini semester um, where you can actually take about a three and a half week long semester. So it certainly is doable to do this within two years, but if you take 
um, less classes. It's probably going to take you just a little bit longer, but that is perfectly fine. Throughout the year, we do invite different transfer colleges uh, from all around our region to visit Blackhawk College um, to meet with students and really make sure that you're on the correct pathway. And these were not created just with Blackhawk ourselves. Uh, we have a articulation coordinator that works very closely with the four-year schools within our region. And we also offer art and music programs within the transfer world, um, but the art and music programs can also look at our career options. And we're gonna talk about that in just a second. But if studying something within visual, visual communications is something that you're considering, um, we also, like I mentioned with our art programs, whether you're looking at education, maybe you're looking at performance, um, and also we have a choir as well. So a lot of opportunities within these two different um, unique uh, areas. As we move forward, we're gonna start talking about our career programs. Now again, keep in mind the transfer programs that we just talked about are meant to transfer. So those are students that are wanting to go on to a four-year college or university after they've attended Blackhawk. Um, our career programs are really intended for students that wanna go directly into the workforce after they have graduated. So you'll hear me call them career or CTE. CTE stands for career and technical education. And so within these programs, there may be a few exceptions in terms of transferring, but typically these are not transferable programs. Again, these people are wanting to go directly into the workforce after they graduate. So we offer two-year associate of applied science degrees, and we also have short-term certifications. And those may be things like welding or our certified nursing assistant program, which is only eight weeks long. I'm gonna actually just take a go um, kind of program by program and give you an idea of um, what's available in those different program areas. So again, agriculture is available at our East Campus location in Galva. Um, they are very, very involved um, with the different livestock judging and FFAs uh, throughout the year. Um, and they offer everything from agribusiness. So again, there's that one exception, you can certainly transfer, um, but they also have that technology, automotive repair, ag mechanics and production. Um, so again, much more hands-on, um, and especially if you're wanting to go into the agriculture world, I do encourage you to um, reach out. And we have our online form on our website that you can schedule a date. Um, they also have quite a few online and virtual events coming up throughout the next couple of months. And then we have business programs. Um, business at the Associate of Applied Science level, so again, two-year level, is really meant to be short-term, and we offer everything from accounting, um, business management and marketing. So maybe you wanna learn how to open up your own business and market yourself or whatever goods or products it is that you're going to be um, giving out or selling. And we also have uh, banking and finance, uh, music industry. Uh, the world of business can mean a lot of different things. So it really is important if you're thinking, I wanna go into business, um, to start asking yourself, what does that look like? Um, there's so many different pathways and that's where um, my job as an admissions advisor, I can certainly help you. Um, making sure that you understand all of this information, that it all makes sense um, before you start applying or um, looking at registering for classes. So quite a few fun areas within the business uh, department. One thing to also keep in mind is again that several of these programs have short-term certifications. So you might start off with a year-long certificate and realize, you know what, if I maybe do another semester or another year, I can have another stackable certificate or I can build that into a two-year degree um, which, of course, at the end is going to help you uh, find jobs in the areas that you're looking for. The more knowledge and skills you have, the more employable you are. Another program uh, area that we offer are computer technologies. We have um, IT support, network administration, secure software development. Um, and these are, these are really important areas because technology is certainly not going anywhere. So whether you want to be the person I'm calling when I'm having tech issues, um, or you want to be um, you know, in there developing applications or looking at the networking pieces. Um, I know that cybersecurity is certainly something that we're all thinking about, especially as we've been living in this virtual world. Um, so quite a few different opportunities within our computer technologies areas. We also offer education. Now again, if you're wanting to become, let's say an elementary or a middle school or even a high school teacher, you're actually going to look at our transfer route. This specific area is meant for individuals who wanna work with early childhood education. So really that infant through that preschool age. Um, we have an assistant teacher and an early childhood educator program. Um, so one is a certificate, the second is the full two-year degree. 
And so if you are somebody who really enjoys working with um, little ones, uh, we certainly need more generosity into the world. So I always encourage students to take a serious look into what early childhood education programs are available. Now this is an area that if you did want to be uh, go on and transfer, so you wanted to attend a four year school, um, you certainly would be able to do that afterwards, but you would be following a different subset of classes. Our health sciences areas are our most popular. Um, nursing and physical therapy assistant are our top two programs within the health sciences world, um, but we also have um, the different levels. So we have CNA, we have our practical nursing program, which was a one year certification. The CNA program I mentioned earlier is eight weeks long, but we also offer the EMS EMT programs. Um, we have surgical technology, which is a newer program that we introduced about two years ago. And then we also offer, so if you're not the person that wants to be, you know, talking with patients, checking on them, doing vitals and things like that, um, we also have more of the um, office side of things. So you have like medical coding or health information management. Um, so certainly a wide variety of areas depending on what it is that you're wanting to do. Now, one thing within the health uh, specialization areas to keep in mind is that for a few of these areas, I mentioned earlier that Blackhawk is an open enrollment institution and we accept all students that apply. However, specific with programs like nursing or CNA or LPN um, or our PTA program, for example, surgical technology, they all require admission into their program. So a lot of students will start their first year taking what's called general prerequisites for these programs. These are gonna be classes like biology, chemistry, anatomy and physiology, microbiology, um, that you have to have completed before you can actually apply to the program. So most students during their first year are going to get those general education courses taken care of and then they will apply during their uh, typically maybe their second semester or during the first semester of their second year uh, for these specific programs. Now I mentioned earlier again nursing is an, is, is an exception so if you do want to transfer on uh, at the bachelor's level you certainly can. And then we switch gears a little and talk about our trade and technical programs. Um, those are going to be areas like engineering technology, welding, criminal justice technology. And again, criminal justice is another exception. If you want to transfer onto a four year school, um, you can certainly do that as well. And then we also offer an opportunity to customize your own degree. So I talked earlier about maybe you want to open up your own business, you need some computer skills, maybe you like some of the accounting stuff. You can actually take quite a few of these different CTE uh, program area classes and customize your own degree. It's actually called the General Occupational Technical Studies degree, which I know is a mouthful, um, but it really is a way for you to work and have a few different certifications under your belt um, as you start uh, looking at entering into the workforce. One thing we know about the trade and technical areas um, is that skilled workers are very hard um, to fill in terms of, uh, of um, filling those open positions. And so they are some of the top jobs here in the country. Um, we really need to make sure that uh, people are going into these areas. So again, if you're more hands-on, um, you're looking at trade and technical, do consider looking at Black Hawk College's programs. We had a wide uh, array of opportunities with engineering technology. Now this is very different from somebody who wants to become an engineer and go on to the four-year level. Um, engineering technology, our students graduate as technicians. So again, much more hands-on. We offer mechanical, manufacturing, and electrical. But again, that is a two-year long program or you could do the one year certificate. So again, you can see the differences between transfer and career as you start looking at how long you're in school and the types of classes that you're taking. So I know that that was a lot of information. I in no way expect you to remember it all, but if you're wondering, okay, that was a lot, but what can I be doing right now? Um, right now, um, as you're in your, uh, in, your, in your high school years, it really is important to start thinking about um, how quickly time is going to be just flying by. I guarantee you senior year um, graduation time will be here very soon. And so um, right now you can submit your application. We are hosting a free application week starting at the end of this month on October 26th through November 1st. Um, you can use the code FREEAPP20. We have a $20 application fee, so this is an opportunity for you to submit your application early and um, have that application fee waived. Now, of course, you may still really be undecided. Do I apply for a school that I'm not 100% sure? I always encourage students, especially if we're having a free application week, make sure you submit that application. Um, so that way, one, we have you in our system. We can make sure that you're not missing any important deadlines or upcoming due dates and things like that. And so I always encourage students, even if you're undecided, please go ahead and submit that application. If you don't attend, it may hurt my feelings just a little bit, um, but we do hope that you make the correct um, educational choice.
Another thing that you can be doing now, especially for those of you seniors, um, it is now past October 1st, so you can complete your FAFSA, your free application for federal student aid. And so um, you start getting those things taken care of now so that once springtime hits, January, February, March, um, you're not kind of bouncing around trying to figure out, did I apply, did I not, have I done these things? And that's just going to make that transition from high school into college that much more easier because there are a lot of things going on throughout the spring semester of your senior year that we wanna make sure that you're not falling behind, you're not going into graduation and you still have nothing taken care of, or you're not really too sure where you're gonna be going. Uh, but also you don't wanna be rushing your summer. Um, it's your final summer before you hit college and um, having these things done early throughout the year uh, will really help make sure that you have that opportunity um, to enjoy your summer before you, before you head on uh, to school. Now, if we don't have any questions at this time, I would just like to say thank you so very much um, for attending today. I know again, it was a lot of information and I am a fast talker. So please reach out to me as you have more questions. Um, you can call me, you can text, you can email. We also have our online forms right on our website. So if you visit us, www.bhc.edu, um, right when you go into the admissions page, you can sign up for on-campus events. We have virtual events. Um, and you can also check in our drop-in hours every Tuesday at the Quad Cities campus from noon to three, I host virtual drop-in hours. So what that means is you can go to our website, you can click on the registra uh, registration link for virtual drop-in office hours, and you and I can converse, we can chat, we can um, answer any questions that you may have, or we can maybe schedule a time for you to come and visit us. Thank you again and have a good rest of your day. Wonderful. Thank you all so much for being a part of the virtual college exploration series today. I um, want to say thank you again for joining us. Um, just so you know, as you close out of this window, there's going to be a quick four question survey. Um, if you could please answer that, super useful for us to have after this session to know what you thought could uh, change or anything that you would like to see in the future. Um, also, please sign up for more sessions at IACAC.org um, or go watch some of the recordings also found online at IACAC.org. But thank you so much for being here and take care.